turns out corporate America doesn't seem to actually care about diversity, equity, and inclusion. You might remember when the whole concept came up, actual honest observers among us called it a fraud. Now we have proof. The Wall Street Journal reports the rise and fall of the chief, chief diversity officer. Diversity executives hit the exits as company priorities shift. Everything is a battle. The Journal quotes Miriam Warren, chief diversity officer for Yelp, quote, there's a combination of grief, being tired, and being in some cases overwhelmed. Evidently, the diversity officers are in grief over their own career. The Journal reports many are considering new career paths. Ian Samuels here, former law clerk for Antonin Scalia, Harvard Law Fellow. Good to see you, my friend. As always, are you surprised it took this long? Ha, well, uh, not really, uh, because, you know, everything happens slow in corporate America. But look, I mean, there's two ways you can look at this, right? And they're both equally sort of pessimistic. One way you can look at it is, is that these officers were named to sort of combat popular uh, outrage uh, in, you know, in the wake of the you know, protests in the summer of 2020. People wanted something done about racial justice in this country. And Fruit by the Foot was out there ready to tell us that they were going to tweet Black Lives Matter and name a chief diversity officer. Now the popular outrage, because it never happened had a political instrument to really uh, make it into anything that could really reshape this country has subsided. And so the corporations can just go back to business as usual. The other way to look at it uh, is that all of the negative things that gave DEI a bad name, right? If you're sort of more on the political right and you think that all these, you know, woke corporations have been doing all this stuff that you oppose, uh, DEI may have gotten a bad name and the chief diversity officer may be departing, but I don't think that any of the things that, you know, corporations have been doing that the right objects to are going to change either. The culture in corporate America is going to stay exactly the same. Now, I think that there are different reasons you could believe that that is bad, uh, but it's pretty clear that the DEI brand has completely run its course uh, and we're going to start forgetting about it very soon. Yeah, look, I think reasonable people can agree that at some point, the DEI brand was something created by consultants, and corporate America was sort of forced into it, right? And and corporate America follows, you know, the the, the yellow brick road to profits, and then observes the winds, the cultural winds along winds along the way, and adapts to them. Uh, now the cultural pendulum is shifting uh, back the other way. Uh, Carolyn, our, our producers, put together a montage of some chief diversity officers, their views. Uh, and as I understand it now, all of these chief diversity officers no longer have jobs or will soon depart uh, their employment. Take a listen. What we have learned about diversity and inclusion is that while it's the right thing to do, for sure, it is also responsible for our ability to innovate. At the Walt Disney Company, we focus unapologetically on diversity, inclusion, and belonging. But well, we have to make sure that our content and our characters reflect the world that we live in. That's all I'm here to do is to say, hey, is there someone missing to this equation, to this community, to this conversation, to this production that should be here? What does it say that things that people were so passionate about and you had to buy into aged so poorly and appear to be so dispensable? Well, maybe they aged really well and the diversity officers did their job so well that they changed the corporate cultures. Or maybe, look, as if, if as one of those officers said, if the culture of the Walt Disney Corporation, for example, uh, embraces this kind of diversity and inclusion at every level, I think it's probably true. I think Disney's a great corporation. Uh, don't, tell I, don't tell the governor of Florida I said that. But if that's true, then what do you need a diversity officer for? This stuff basically has to be baked into the values of a company uh, or it can't be imposed by even a C-level executive. And conversely, if it is baked into the values of a company and you object to these sorts of things, then getting rid of the diversity officer isn't going to change it. So either way, I really doubt that this means very much is going to change. I think if you're in the business of running DEI seminars, you know, it's probably time to, you know, roll, roll up the, uh, you know, the, the cart and move to the next town. But otherwise, the culture of, you know, the culture of Disney movies uh, is not going to get any different. And that could be a good yeah. thing or a bad thing, but it's not going to change. Yeah, we, we, we've seen this. We've seen this cycle before. You make a good point. Uh, roll the cart to the next town. The, 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 it, it, it will be reborn in a different way. We just don't know how yet. Ian, it's always good to see you. Thank you. You too. See you later. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.